Welcome back, YouTube, to Yellowstone Season 5 Discussions, and today we'll be discussing Episode 4, titled Horses in Heaven. This episode starts off with Beth sitting in jail. If you remember in the previous episode, she was arrested after punching out a woman who was talking to Rip in the bar. So Beth is in jail, and of course, Jamie is her lawyer. And then they have the classic Beth versus Jamie fight, but eventually, Jamie does get Beth free. In the next scene, we see that John Dutton has a policy committee and they are holding a meeting without him in which he fires them, kicking them to the curb, saving the state of Montana at least $1.4 million that it would have to pay those employees. In the next important scene, we see Jamie Dutton with the woman that Beth assaulted in the bar in the previous episode. He's telling her that if she wishes to press charges on Beth, well, then the state of Montana is going to have to press charges against her as well. Since this was a bar fight, there's no one to consider as a victim. Usually in bar fights, everyone starts fighting. And once again, a very smart move by Jamie Dutton. Once again, proving he is actually a legitimate lawyer. Then on the ride back home, Jamie and Beth get in another classic Beth and Jamie argument. If you've been watching Yellowstone, you know exactly what I mean. These two hate each other. In the car ride, Beth finds out that Jamie, in fact, has a child, and this sends her over the edge. They start fighting, and she slaps Jamie, and then the car screeches to a halt after almost wrecking. And then we see Beth walking down the road, and Jamie gets back in his SUV, and angrily drives the car towards Beth and tries to hit her, but just at the right moment, she dodges out of the way and doesn't get hit by Jamie. And then in the next important scene, we see John Dutton at the funeral of Monica and Casey Dutton's son that has just passed away in previous episodes. At the death ceremony, John agrees to let his son, Casey, give up the badge if that's really what he wants to do. And Casey responds, that's really what he wants to do. Then in the next scene, we see Rip telling John Dutton about the wolf situation and how he thought he threw them off their tails, but unfortunately he was wrong about that. Then in the next scene, we see that Piper has been freed from prison. If you can remember in previous episodes, she was the woman that was arrested for protesting outside of the Yellowstone Ranch. And then whenever she is walking out of prison, John Dutton rolls down his window and says that he is the reason she is freed. After that, he also breaks down the news that she will be under his supervision for six months. The only reason she was released was because John was going to supervise her. Then in the next scene, we can see Sarah Atwood and Jamie at the bar. They start drinking and you can tell that Sarah is attempting to make a move on Jamie. Once they are good and drunk, she tells Jamie to take her somewhere. As they are walking out of the bar, Beth is sitting in the corner watching them. Now they do not see her watching, but she sees them. Beth then follows them to the back, and you can hear Jamie and Sarah, let's just say, getting it on. <laughs> Him and her got it on. woo -wee! And if you don't get <laughs> no, that didn't. reference, we can't be friends anymore. But as Jamie is busy with Sarah in a separate room, Beth begins to go through Sarah's purse and takes a picture of her ID. Beth is snooping around to see who Sarah actually is. And then in the next scene that is confirmed as Beth is typing on her computer, looking up who the person is that Jamie was with. And she says, not her real name, surprising. So that leads us to believe that the wallet in Sarah Atwood's ID may be a false ID. Maybe her name isn't Sarah Atwood after all. 
This could be a plot twist waiting to be unraveled. And in the final scene of this episode, we see Beth continuing on her computer whenever she sees a woman out of the corner of her eye. Upon further inspection, that woman is Piper. Remember, she is staying there under John Dutton's supervision for the next six months. And as you may have guessed, Beth and Piper get into an argument as they have in previous episodes. Remember, Beth does not like Piper as she has slept with her dad in previous episodes. And then to end this episode off, Beth says she's not going to start this day sober, walks outside and pours herself a tall drink of Tito's vodka. And then it shows the Yellowstone sunrise as the episode ends. And that's going to be it for episode four titled Horses in Heaven. Don't forget to let us know what you think about this episode in the comment section as well as what you think may happen in future episodes. I'm willing to hear your predictions as well. Well, that's it, YouTube. Have a good one.